Hello everyone, welcome to Across TV. Joining me now is Helge Brückner. He is the retail manager Germany for Desigual. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for the invitation. It's a nice opportunity to talk with Across. That's very well known in the real estate market and um, very well known all over Europe, depending on other uh, communication channels which you got only in Germany. So, Thank you for being here. Everyone is talking about innovation. Do you think companies are innovative enough? I think they are. They have to follow the customer, they have to follow their clients and we have to react on the trends we find in the market. And so everybody's discussing by now the online market tools we've got on our uh, own devices like cell phones we're carrying around all the time with us and we've got to follow these things. So innovation in the market means for me as a real estate manager two things. First of all, we have to take care that our products the garments we are selling, they fulfill our customer needs. We started with uh, only women and now it's women and children and men. And then we enlarged it also to cosmetics, to sports, to home lifestyle. And therefore the real estate is developing in regard of size. Where we had sm much smaller units in the past, we are now developing and getting bigger units. Second step is take the opportunity to use the devices existing if it is a flat screen or if it is near field communication where you can get direct information on your smartphone using the online newsletters, using the click and collect system to bring more customer into your market. So we are innovative enough, I think. We are following the market. I don't think that retailers are the ones that have to uh, develop a market newly. This is done by somebody else and we follow the one that's doing it the best and we adapt the best things. And would you think your own company, Desigual, is innovative enough? Are you following all your rules? I think so, yes. Um, we are existing since uh, 1984. Uh, the German market we entered in 2009. 2010 we already launched our online store. And we keep on growing. Per today we've got 65 stores, which is awesome, which is a great result so far. And we keep on growing. Um, and we would not be able to, go, uh, to earn this success without being innovative. We keep on uh, chasing our car, uh, customers. That's very important. The consumer confidence is on a record high. Do you think uh, sustainable, this uh, business is sustainable? <laughs> Honestly, to answer this question is quite hard. Um, nobody of us, neither you or me, need to buy garments per day. You've got a full wardrobe and everything is fine. And now you need to create new customer needs. Um, from the perspective of purchasing power in the German market or in the European market at all, it's not a problem. Though it's a sustainable business, we will keep on selling. It's not that thing. The, the behavior of people will not change in total. Sure, we've got some effects um, where we're talking about e uh, economical effects, where we talk about sustainability in production. And we have to follow these as well. Um, there are new needs we have to, to f obey. We have to clarify that we are producing under these laws and then the customer will follow us because if you are a customer and say you don't want to have children work in Asia, that's something we can clearly understand and so we are not using any fabrication there that's using children, work, uh, children labor. So this is something we do and by this the market situation is quite well. We've got still growing numbers, um, unemploy unemployment rate in Germany is on a low level. Um, the European Central Bank is taking care of our money by now. <laughs> I don't know if it's the right strategy, but we have to trust Mr. Draghi there. I think it's sustainable and we keep on growing. So it's a good uh, future trend? I think so, yes. Future for the next, I don't know how far you can look into the future, but for the next couple of years, yes, it's going to be great. Helge Brückner, thank you so much for the interview. I appreciate your time and thank you for watching. See you next time on Across TV.